Hey guys, Red Baron here with Red Baron Models. Uh, this is the Accurate Miniatures F4 Phantom in 172nd scale. Uh, I, this is one I won in the raffle at the first model competition I went to that my local club had. Uh, and I built this one in a week. I uh, managed to build it. Then have a few little setbacks here and there. And I'll get to that later on. Okay, so let's move on to the kit itself. Uh, the, everything that came, is in this kit is out of the box that you see here. I uh, started off with the uh, cockpit tub. It went together really nicely. Uh, pretty flawless. Uh, only problem I had was one of the ejection seat handles was actually cut before I actually like removed it from the tree. So there was a little bit of a gap in that. But besides that, I just dry brushed and hand painted everything with... Uh, to me, uh, acrylics. And this is just it compared to a penny. Moving on to day two, I added nose weights, the cockpit, wing, and stabilator. Everything went together without any fuss. One complaint I have with the kit is the lack of, g of detail in the air intakes on the sides. Day three was dedicated to painting, which thankfully the second kit I had to order due to missing a canopy arrived. After installing the closed canopy and masking it, I primed the aircraft using Tamiya paint. Then using a blotting pattern, I painted on the white. Here is how the white turned out. I used the same technique using light gray on the upper fuselage parts, also using Tamiya. I then painted the exhaust using Tamiya Dark Iron and Model Master Chrome. Decaling started on day 4 and ran into day 5. I picked to do the markings from the fighting shamrocks who fly off of the USS America. I chose this one because earlier in last year, our NJROTC unit got a new senior naval science instructor and he said his favorite ship was the USS America. So I decided with a week left of school to build him this, and I gave it to him on the last day. The last step was to put on the landing gear and ordnance. The hardest thing to build on this kit was the bomb rack, as the contact points of bombs was basically non-existent. That concludes the build. I hope you all enjoyed. They're staying safe, and as always, model on.